A couple of minutes ago, I had two turtles roam in the beach, and I got up, filled up my water. I come back and they're gone. A little bit suspicious. I don't know if we got a thief out there. Um, oh, I can actually see. I, I see them. Okay, case closed. They went back to sea, but keep a lookout. Anyway, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. I am back on my low-level account, and it's time. We, we can't put it off any longer. This is usually one of the upgrades you want to prioritize when upgrading your HQ, and yes, that is the vault. I kind of had an excuse where I didn't play on this account enough to justify vault upgrades, but we're falling behind and we've been playing it more in our off time. So we want to protect as much loot as possible. Again, you want to prioritize the vault because people take your loot and the vault protects most of it. So we'll get it up. I think it was another 4% protection. So you can see we have a lot of iron starting out today and a good amount of wood that we are not going to be able to spend. We want to protect that and it'll be 4% more protected in three hours and 45 minutes here. Also earlier today, I went through and claimed a few of our stone resource bases. Let's see how much stone we gathered from a couple hours ago. And that was like 9,000 stone. Resource bases at this level are so juicy, but the thing is, Everybody wants them, so they just get leveled up and they get difficult. Uh, but we're not complaining because that this is the most fun part of resource bases. In fact, I see one up here. Let's see if we can take this one out. We have our classic heavy Zooka loaded up because that is my highest troops currently. Um, I, I was taking them out earlier with... I was going to say I was taking them out earlier with tanks, but I, I, I was actually... Maybe I did use tanks, but I, I was using tanks mostly to take out the NPC bases that were low level. It was at work, so I couldn't really focus on the game, but you could, you know, take those small breaks and get an attack started and let your tanks just go ahead and rule over the base. I clicked a med kit three times on the Zookas trying to protect them from these mines, and I my, my clicks weren't registering, so that's pretty tragic. We're going to start out by losing a few of our Zookas, but... Anyway, we're going to claim this stone resource base, and then we're going to go ahead and attack some player bases. Once we get it taken out, a level 1 sniper tower working overtime, but there we go. Another resource base is ours. First player base attack here. Let's see if we can get the job done. I'm a little bit scared because I can't just flank this base and call it a day, but I think we can get through these first few defense. Actually, maybe we can flank this in a way. I just want to try and avoid that boom cannon if all possible, because we don't have that many heavies that can suffer through the damages. Let's go ahead, drop on the left hand side here and see if we can avoid it. But if it does turn, I'm just gonna flare onto the mortar here. It does turn. I think it's gonna get a hit out. Oh man, we got a mortar shell to the Zookas there and some mines. This is not, um, exactly how I wanted this to go down at first. We're gonna go ahead and try and flank just a little bit. I'm trying to avoid that boom cannon at all costs, if you could not tell. Um, but while we're here kind of waiting for our troops to gain a grip, I want to talk to you guys about something. So, um, Chris and I are gonna start streaming a couple times a month over on our Discord server. Our server's been uh, somewhat dead for, I want to say a couple months, but it's honestly kind of like a year and we were thinking about like shutting it down but we don't want to shut it down without a fight so that we're, we're gonna start uh, doing some streams over there having a good time trying to switch it up a bit you know try and get you guys involved I don't think it's really gonna be boom beach maybe some boom beach front lines but we're gonna be trying out uh, different games we haven't really fully decided yet games that we can play with you you know get more people involved and just overall have a good time so if that interests you at all you want to get to know the duo in a little bit different setting go ahead and join um, i'll link it in the third line of the description you do have to be 13 and up if you don't want to join that's fine as well but you should join it'll be a good time we are surviving one zooka right now this is getting <laughs> this is a little bit absurd i kind of panic right here and I flared my Zooka, oh my gosh. So that boulder, that boulder almost screwed me. I flared it back because I thought that mortar was gonna fire. It, I think it was out of range. I flared the Zooka right by the boulder. It had to drop down and the cannon turned. It did not fire, thankfully. So we did. We, we still have a Zooka firing on the HQ here, but that was 
close. Um, we, sh we would have been able to take it out probably regardless because Brick does a good amount of damage. But thankfully, we survived one Zooka. And this this gave me a little bit of a heart attack. A every time, you know, a every time I use Heavy Zooka, it always gets the blood pressure running a little bit high because I am not that good at it. We're trying to get better. And bases like this help me out because it exposes me and forces me to attack it in a way that I'm not really used to because a lot of times at this level, the bases will be kind of laid out where you can flank it even better, avoiding all the defenses. We clearly couldn't do that. We, we avoided a lot of them, actually. But there was a lot of sniper towers to worry about, yada, yada, yada. We still lost quite a bit, but down goes the base. It tried to take me out. It did not succeed. More kind of like this base, where we can like go up a line, take out some defenses, and then just flare by the rest of them. I, last base was a bit different. This could be difficult in its own way. It's three levels higher. The defenses look a lot more beefy. Um, so I am a little bit scared on that. But what I'm going to do, I don't want to deal with this mortar. Let's see if we can bard it down. I think I overkilled it just a bit, but that's okay because we were we were scared and we're going to have to spend that energy on something. We're going to pop an iron will here. I thought that mortar shell was coming for me there. Um, we're going to let that heavy go off, do its thing, get a shock onto this mortar, get a flare. And then after we take out that mortar... We're going to try and quickly flare them up into the trees. It did not register. My click did not register. And now we are gasping for air. Our heavies are low level. There's a rocket launcher on this base. I forgot rocket launchers existed. Um, so we're panicking a bit. But we're going to get them up above the HQ. And I think our Zookas should be able to power through. We're going to let them collapse. And then get a med kit onto the heavies here. Just so... Um, maybe we can sustain them a bit longer because I think that rock launcher will be able to hit the Zookas and we cannot have that. But good thing we have a lot of Zookas remaining. Did not take as long to get down that HQ, but it was close there for a second. And like I said, it, it, it it's a lot of nerves when I'm attacking with this strat. We need to get our troops upgraded and we need to get more practice on this. There we go. Congrats. We got ranked up. I just congratulated myself. And the game also congratulated me. So why not congratulate myself? And here we go into the next base. I think, you know what, let's just go for it. Uh, I think I'm overthinking it because he's got all the obstacles removed. All the trees, all the stones. Which, by the way, I'm going to keep some of the stones and boulders on my base. I just like the aesthetic of it. But we're going to go ahead. What do we want to do I think we're gonna bar down this rocket launcher. Let's start out with the barrage artillery, see where that lies. I think we can get it down with another artillery. Boom, down it goes. Now we're gonna go ahead, get our heavies out. We're gonna let them run up a second and then get our zookas down. I've been dropping the zookas a bit soon and the heavies haven't had a chance to really take out the mines. Right away, we're gonna pop the iron will. Now, if this is the first time you're watching me do a low level video you might be wondering why i'm taking iron will over battle orders and that's a great question battle orders much better with the heavy zooka um the reason is very petty and probably immature so when you use battle orders and you destroy the hq with uh, battle orders popped this is getting i i'm getting Oh my gosh, is this going to work? Come on, we need to get this mortar, flare them right away. Oh, dodge the other mortar. Yes, we have enough Zookas alive. And we're just going to throw a shock onto the sniper tower and a flare. Apparently, we didn't get the shock. That's fine, though, because the sniper tower is going for um, brick there. Uh, but back to my point, uh, I, I've said this in previous videos, so sorry if I'm getting super redundant. But when you destroy the HQ, well, battle, battle orders is popped. It will crash the game a lot, and I just hate I, I hate having to relaunch the game like that. So because of that, I am protesting battle orders until Boom Beach fixes it, which it's been that way for as long as I can remember now. So um, yeah, I don't, I don't I don't think it's gonna get fixed, but that's okay. Out of sight, out of mind. Let's go ahead, just get our flare on the HQ, and we will be able to get. Another victory against a green base alert. I, I got a little bit more forgiveness. Um, 
to green base alerts at this level just because you don't always have enough statues to really have a chance to avoid getting the green statues and you know you use a lot of gold at this level as well expanding the map upgrading your hero upgrading your troops so i'll let it slide even though it's kind of negligible but once you get a chance you better switch that out for the resource reward so i think i can get away with this base if we there, there's a big enough gap there this could be a risk but if we take out the mortars I think we can get Arzuka's kind of parked back here once we get rid of all these defenses. I'm going to try it out. We got to take a risk at some point today. Let's go ahead, get our mortars here barded down. We're going to go double barrage, see where that puts us. I hope we can take out, oh my gosh, we got no energy return right there. There goes the rest of our energy. Took out the mortars, so not completely out of energy, but we're going to need a bit more than six to get through this attack. And we put our Zookas down in a bad spot. We should have delayed them a bit. Our Heavy should be able to take care of most of the mines. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought they left one up. Anyway, our Zookas are now... They decided to run over both of those. Oh, come on. This is not looking great. We need our Zookas to step it up here. Get rid of the machine guns. Get rid of the cannons here. Oh, man. This is going downhill. Get rid of the cannon. Get rid of the machine gun. We're get, we, we got, oh, we did it a bit early. Okay, I wonder, can we get them in a dead zone over here? I think they're in a dead zone. The sniper tower is firing at them. I take it back. Poor execution on my end. Down goes that one. They're in a dead zone. I, I'm getting extremely lucky here today. I, these attacks have been atrocious. Screw you, machine gun. I don't know how you didn't get taken out. I thought the Zookas would have enough brute force there. Um, yeah, this this is not great for my physical health. My, my blood pressure is extremely high. But now, we realize we got maxed out storages. We got a couple victories under our belt. And we're getting our vault upgraded, which means we're going to be able to protect those resources to a little bit more degree but it's under leveled so we get a couple more upgrades over the next over the next couple days you know it's 10 20 percent extra protection on my loot and we've been playing on this account a bit longer but that's going to be that that's going to wrap it up let's go see if we can get a gold upgrade in the armory um oh okay nothing too good we're gonna go ahead and get a barrage upgrade because if we didn't have to spend those two artillery. That would have been a much smoother attack. So we're going to go ahead and get that one out of the way. There goes all of our gold. And I guess we'll just leave the resource boat for now. Um, since we don't, we're, we're not going to spend anything else. Anyway, thanks for making it to the end. Again, if you want to see us live stream, link will be in the third line of the description. We'll keep you updated on when the first one will be. Come have a great time, you know? Anyway, we'll see you guys in tomorrow's Boom Beach video. Bye-bye.